grazing on some threads or a nut on the a nut in a washer. So I have threads on the end of these conduit. There's a problem with uh, here. Let me show you on the camera. Normally we connect we connect these uh, pieces of of pipe or this conduit like this. We drill a hole. We simply drill a hole like that. We simply drill a hole through them and run a nut. The problem happens is when we need to put one on the end like this. Like this this piece of pipe here needs to go right into the end. They don't make elbows like that for this to go into. So this was one solution that I had come up with is making a collar with a uh, that I could then uh, run a bolt through from that side and then run this pipe into the collar. This collar here is attached to all of this and then the pipe runs through drill a hole and put in a uh, a bolt here. Now I know this bolt's a little too long but it's what I had right now. I've since bought some shorter ones that I'm going to put in there. But I think there's a simpler way to do it. That is I've uh, welded on a washer onto the end with a nut on the inside. So it has threads in there and then I'll be able to run a bolt in there like that with a washer right into the end. Just like that, I'll be able to run a bolt into the end and be able to connect these on the ends. Um, I think it'll become more apparent later why that's so helpful to be able to do that. And so this is just kind of a jerry-rigged solution that I've come up with. Uh, for those welders out there that are watching this channel, please forgive my, my welding job on there. I know it's not as pretty as what you guys could do, um, but it is effective. And it's the best I can do with uh, being an untrained welder on a uh, oxyacetylene system. Which I've got right there. These nut these these nuts and washers are now welded onto the inside of this pipe. So if I need to put a cross member on here, like I will on one of these end walls, I can I'll simply be able to thread this on now. Oh, okay. You see? Uh-huh. And now this is attached. That's mm -hmm. what I needed to do. Mm. Because I need if I need to make a wall right here, you know, like I will on the other end, now I can put my metal and stuff right on here. That's kind of cool. It is kind of cool, huh? Mm-hmm. It's kind of dangerous, too. Huh? Kind of dangerous, huh? Well, it's molten metal. We're melting metal with uh, acetylene gas. Oh. I was using those glasses. I don't know if you can see through the camera, but I wish you could put in the camera here. Oh, you can't see it, totally. <laughs> you need to see it. You. Looks like night vision. Yeah. Okay. So I just finished the the wall to partition the uh, the enclosed area of our chicken coop. Uh, earlier, I showed you when I was making these doors, they'll hang right in here, and I'll either make them swing like this, not quite like that, swing like that, or make them into a sliding door where they'll just slide over like that. I haven't quite made up my mind which way I want to do it. I kind of want the sliding way just because I haven't done it that way before. It's probably more complicated, right? Not necessarily, no. Um, I think it actually be fairly simple. A small rail right here and then two wheels on top for it to slide on. But anyway, uh, and then in here we can either have 
This will be all enclosed and we'll have nesting boxes either along this wall or two sets of nesting boxes, some here and some there, and then some perches for them. And then we can put heat lamps in here in the winter to keep them cold, or keep them warm, uh, and protect them from the cold. And then they'll come out here and this will be all the open area in here, which will just be covered with a roof and then open on the side. So I think they're really going to like it. It's going to give them plenty of room and then during the day they'll be able to go out into the yard in the big yard. They'll only be in here if it's a day that they can't go out, like a rainy day or if we're out or whatever. This wall like I just did here, putting in all these partitions, I'm going to duplicate the same thing on this exterior end. You can see I've already put in the vertical post. And then I'll put in some more diagonal braces like I did on the sides here. I'll put some for the end wall. I'll put a few diagonal braces in there to really stiffen it up. That popping you hear is because these washers have a little layer of chrome and that chrome pops off. Okay, this is the idea that uh, ad I had when I saw a chicken coop that was uh, that somebody else had made and was selling at a, uh, at a flea market. Uh, and I, I like the idea of having a sliding door on the chicken coop. So I decided to kind of, I remembered what it looked like as best I could and then reproduced it. I uh, made a track going across here along with some uh, some bearings up here for a pulley. And uh, now we have a sliding door instead of a swinging door. Okay, we've got one here if you guys want to come on into the chicken coop. I'm going to show you over here where the chickens sleep and where their nesting boxes are also has a sliding door, which will probably stay open for, uh, for the, during the day. And then at night, when we need to keep the predators out and things, anything that might get into here, or when it's cold, we put the heat lamps in there, and then we can just shut the door, and, there, and they can stay in there nice and safe and warm. Um, but I think this is a little, I like this idea better than a swinging door. I, des I designed it so that the distance here it, there's a small enough clearance that you can't actually lift the door off of the track. So the, so the door shouldn't be coming off the track at all. The only way to take this door off is either to swing the door way out or to run it off the end of the track, which I'll put stop on there so you can't do it accidentally. But it's, it, it seems to slide very smoothly. And it's going to work out great. I think he knows we're trying to film and just make the noise. Go ahead and just start putting wire around everywhere. Um, actually, I have a few of these braces to put up yet. I've got, a, I've got about two to three of them to put up. And so we'll do that, and then, then we'll be putting on wire, the roof, and we're done.